Eighth grade, open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit eight, lesson two, side lengths and areas. Problem number one. A square has an area of 81 square feet. Select all the expressions that equal the side length of this square in feet. Since the square has an area of 81 square feet, that means that each side length would be nine units because nine times nine equals 81. So we can select all the answer choices that have the value of nine. A, 81 halves or 81 divided by two. Since 81 divided by two is not nine, we will not select answer choice A. B, the square root of 81. The square root of 81 is nine, so we will select B. And of course, we'll select C, nine, we will not select D, the square root of nine, because the square root of nine is three. And we will also not select E, because three is not equal to nine. Problem number two, write the exact value of the side length in units of a square whose area in square units is A. 36. The square root of 36 is 6. So if a square had an area of 36 square units, each side length would be 6 units. B. 37. This one's not quite as easy because 6 times 6 is 36. So we need to find the exact value of the side length in units. I would say that the exact value of the side length in units would be the square root of 37. B, 100 over nine. Let's see if we can find the square root of 100 ninths. Well, I know that 10 times 10 equals 100, so we can replace the top with a 10, and three times three equals nine, so we can replace the nine with the three. And I could say that the value of the side length was 10 over three, or 10 thirds units. If the area of the square was two-fifths units, each side length would be the square root of two-fifths. E, 0 0.0001. That means we need to find the square root of 0 0.0001. The square root is 0 0.01. And finally, F. If the area of a square was 11 hundredths, what would each side length be? Each side length would be the square root of 11 hundredths. Problem number three. Square A is smaller than square B. Square B is smaller than square C. The three square side lengths are the square root of 26, 4.2, and the square root of 11. What is the side length of square A, square B, and square C? Explain how you know. The square root of 26 is between the square root of 25 and the square root of 36. The square root of 25 is 5 and the square root of 36 is 6. So we know that the square root of 26 is going to be something between 5 and 6. And since that's larger than 4.2, we know that it's going to be the side lengths for square C, the largest of the three squares. Let's look at the side length 4.2. I know that 4.2 times 4.2 is a little bit more than 17 and a half units, which is greater than 11, but less than 26. So 4.2 would be the side length for square B. And finally, the smallest side length would be the square root of 11. That matches up with square A. Problem number four from eighth grade unit eight, lesson one. Find the area of a square if its side length is A one-fifth centimeters. To find the area of this square, we'll multiply one-fifth centimeters times one-fifth centimeters, and that equals one-twenty-fifth centimeters squared. B, find the area of a square if its side length is three-sevenths units. That would be three-sevenths times three-sevenths, and that would equal nine over 49 units squared. C. Find the area of a square if its side length is 11 eighths inches. 
That would be 11 eighths inches times 11 eighths inches. 11 times 11 is 121, and 8 times 8 is 64. So the area of this square would be 121 over 64 square inches. D, what's the area of a square that has side lengths 1 tenth meters? 1 tenth times 1 tenth. That would be an area of 1 hundredth square meters. And the side length for square E is 3.5 centimeters. 3.5 times 3.5 equals 12 and 25 hundredths centimeters squared. Problem number five from eighth grade unit seven lesson 15. Here is a table showing the areas of the seven largest countries. A. How much more area is there in Russia than in Canada? The area of Russia would be 1.71 times 10 to the 7th power kilometers squared. And the area of Canada is 9.98 times 10 to the 6th power kilometers squared. The area of Canada is 17,100,000 kilometers squared. And the area of Canada is 9,980,000 kilometers squared. We need to find the difference, and that is 7,120,000 kilometers squared. And that can be written as 7.12 times 10 to the power of 6. This represents how much more area Russia has compared to Canada. B. The Asian countries on this list are Russia, China, and India. The American countries are Canada, the United States, and Brazil. Which has the greater total area? The three Asian countries or the three American countries? First, let's find the total area for the three largest American countries. We need to add 9,980,000, 9,530,000, and 8,520,000. That's a total of 28,030,000 kilometers squared. That can be written as 2.803 times 10 to the power of 7. Next, let's find the total area for the three largest Asian countries. 17,100,000 plus 9,600,000 plus 3,290,000. That's a total of 29,990,000 square kilometers. And that can be written as 2.999 times 10 to the power of 7. Now you can easily tell that the area of the three larger Asian countries is greater than the area of the three largest American countries. Problem 6 from 8th grade Unit 7 Lesson 5. Select all the expressions that are equivalent to 10 to the power of negative 6. A. 1 over a million. That's equivalent to 10 to the power of negative 6. Let me show you why. To write that with a positive exponent, we would write 1 over 10 to the power of 6. And that's the same as 1 over 1 million. So I need to select A. B. Negative 1 over 1 million. Well, that's the opposite of 1 over 1 million, so I know we can't select B. C. 1 over 10 to the power of 6. That's just like example A, so I need to select C. D. 10 to the power of 8 times 10 to the power of negative 2. Exponent 8 minus exponent 2 equals exponent 6, or 10 to the power of 6. Since that's not the same as 10 to the power of negative 6, I will not select D. E. 1 tenth all to the power of 6. That's the same as 1 tenth times itself 6 different times, which is also the same as example A, 1 over a million. So I will select E. And finally, F. That's 1 over 10 times itself 6 different times. That's also the same as example A, 1 over a million, so I will select F. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.